guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be lapping the valves. Now lapping the valves is the process of matching the valve surface to the valve seat so that we get an airtight seal. Now there's numerous different ways of doing this. A couple different ways that I know how to do this is by one, using the manual method. This is by using valve lapping sticks. These are just basically some sticks with some suction cups on them. Now the more preferred method, which is the other method that I like to use, is by using a drill and a piece of hose. Now this is my preferred method because it's a lot quicker. Now both of these methods will require you to have some valve lapping compound. What we have here is Permatex's valve grinding compound, which is what we're going to be using today. Now I'll go over both of these methods with you guys. And let's get started. All right guys, so here's the cylinder head. I've already lapped a bunch of these valves, as you can see, with the gray ring around the uh, valve seat. Now we're gonna work on this one now. This is a close up of what the valve seat looks like. There's a little bit of minor imperfections in there, some pitting and stuff, but we'll get that out by lapping, just like this one here. Now this one looks pretty good. So we're just gonna move on to this one. I'll show you guys the slow method first, and then we'll go and do the faster method using a drill. All right guys, so this is the valve that we're gonna be lapping. As you can see, this is what the valve looks like. It's not too bad. Once it's lapped, it will have a nice gray ring around it as well. Let me show you guys the one with the gray ring that we've already done. So this is what it would look like after you're done lapping it. Nice and smooth gray ring on there. So because I have some oil on this valve, I'm just gonna wipe it up and clean it a little bit. And then we're gonna apply the Permatex valve grinding compound here. Just apply a bunch on there like that. And then we're gonna add some engine oil onto the valve so that it's lubricated. And then we're gonna stick it into the engine or the head. And then we'll just pop that right down. I'll give my hands a quick wipe. Now this is the slow method here. We're using the suction cup thing. We're gonna give it a clean first, a little bit of cleaning with some brake cleaner because any oil on there will make it a little bit tough to stick. And we'll wipe this seat up a little as well. So that it's nice and dry. And I'll bring you guys up close. All right, so we'll be working on this valve here. So this is the slow method. So we're gonna take the suction cup and we're gonna stick it right on there. And then this method sucks because it always keeps unsticking. And you just keep doing that, lifting it. And as you're doing this, it'll change sound when the lapping compound gets worn out and when the seat is getting really nice and clean and matching with each other. So you just do it this way. It's really slow and it takes a little while. And as you can see, it just keeps unsticking itself. Now we're going to switch over to the quicker method, which I've been doing with all the rest of these valves. So with the quicker method, you just tilt your head up like so. Then you're going to attach this tool that I've kind of made out with some fuel line hose. This end will just plug right into the valve. So you just hold the valve down on one side and you pop this in. And then this other side here is clamped onto, let's just remove it and show you guys. This side is just clamped onto a Torx bit so that it holds on on the hose. And then I'm gonna attach my drill to this. And then we're just gonna use the drill's power to spin the valve. And um, we could just jiggle it back and forth like so. So I'll show you guys from the other end. This is the valve that we're gonna be working on. So we just have to attach our drill to it. Drill's attached. And you just work it like this for, you know, a good minute or so. And, you know, you'll be able to hear the difference once the 
valve grinding compound is um, worn out a little bit, then you can wipe it off and check the seats. And if it still doesn't look smooth afterwards, just keep grinding until it looks smooth. And this is the faster process. It saves you a lot more time than doing it by hand. Alright, we're done with this valve. I can hear the difference and you can see that the grease or the valve lapping compound, which is actually grease um, mixed with some grit, it's actually quite liquidy now. So um, you can actually remove it now. Let me just wipe off my fingers. So it's already broken down quite a bit as you can see. Very um, mucky. All right, let's wipe this valve up. Yep, the surface looks good on this one. You got, it's hard for you guys to see because of the lighting, but the surface looks good. Now let's check the, the seat on the head. Yeah, that surface looks pretty good too. I like to shine a light on it just to get a good, clear, look at it pieces of fiber i'll be cleaning off the head again later uh, there's still some pitting on this side so we could go a little bit more yeah still slight pitting on this side so we'll do another round of this uh grinding until it looks super smooth and i'm that i'm happy with it but it should theoretically look like the one on the right of it or i guess to the left of it when you're facing that way. All right, there you go. This one valve that we just did is all perfect now. No more pitting at all. All right, guys, so after all the valves are fully lapped, we're gonna check to ensure that it is creating a tight seal. How I'm doing that is I'm placing all the valves within the cylinder and I'm pouring kerosene in there. So of course, plug it up with a spark plug right there. I'm pouring kerosene in there and I'm waiting about five minutes to ensure that it is creating a nice tight seal. If it isn't, within less than five minutes, you'll see that there's leakage here, here, and you'll be able to determine which port it is. With the weight of the valves on the valve seat, it should be enough to create a seal that's tight enough where kerosene would not leak through. So, so far I've checked these two already and these are all good. This one is, it's already been over five minutes and there is no leakage, I've already checked. So we're good on that one too. And then I'm just gonna check that one. And then if that one's all good, then lapping is all done. If it does leak on any of the valves, you just have to relap them. All right guys, this is all the surfaces all lapped. So as you can see, all of them have that gray ring on them already. And they're all sealing up good. We've done the, the kerosene test. Now let's take a look at the valves themselves as well. And here are all the valves. As you can see, they all have the gray ring as well, all nice and clean. So all that's left is just reassembly. All right guys, I'm all done lapping the valves. So now the valve seat and the valves are all sealing up good and there's no more carbon as well. Now all that's left is for me to clean everything with some brake clean and then we can start some of the reassembly of the head. Anyways guys, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.